All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and work. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's do 6B. I'm going to take it easy on myself here. So 6B, I have f of x equals x plus 6. And I'm asking for the table uh, table of f and a table of f inverse. Um, pretty straightforward. Algebra 1 skill for table of f. Um, instead of writing y, though, write f of x. That's how it's going to be on any tests or quizzes that I'm going to give you. Um, I don't like using y. I like using the function notation. Uh, and just pick some values. I generally pick negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Take these, plug them in. So negative 2 plus 6 is negative 4. Wow, that is totally wrong. Um, it is just 4. I don't know what I'm thinking. It says 6 minus 2 is 4. This becomes 5 because negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Then I have 6. 1 plus 6 is 7, and then 2 plus 6 is 8. Now, to create the table of the inverse of f, I don't actually have to find it because I know the relationship that my x and my y are going to interchange. So if I have my x and my f inverse of x table, all I need to do is take my f of x column, and that is now my new x column. So I have 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Take my x column, and that becomes my f inverse of x or my y so it will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Pretty straightforward when you understand the relationship between the domain and range, how they swap or interchange. Um, you can do that on a table. That's why when we find it algebraically, we switch out the x and the y um, on, in the algebraic equation.